Hey, what's up, everybody? This is Nifty Thrifties. I'm Ryan. This I'm is Tori. Tori. <laughs> she, yes. No, no. Awkward. You want to start over? Yes. Hey, what's up, everybody? This is Ryan and Tori from Nifty Thrifties, and we have a huge bins haul to do today to show you because we have three, three of these, three massive <laughs> IKEA bags filled to the brim, <laughs> filled with stuff. And oh my gosh, this is gonna be a long video, so we're gonna go lightning fast. Yeah, we're gonna just start start in on this. Yeah. First thing. First is thing that. was this. It's an Emmanuel Ungardo, Ungardo blazer. Um, this was the last thing that we grabbed before the store closed. I didn't really look up comps in the store, but I was seeing good listings. And upon further research, we can probably get 40 or 50 for this. This is Adriana Papel. It's just a basic dress. Adriana Papel. Right, we can do that now. <laughs> yeah, I'm so happy. So um, this, I'm just gonna send a thread up and I think that they should give me $20 passively. So that's an add-in. Um, these are a pair of black Madewell jeans. These are the, uh, what is this? This is the 10 inch um, high rise skinny jean fit. Um, probably sending those in to thread up as well. Mm -hmm. Yeah, 10 to 15 passively. Cool. This was great. Tory Burch shirt. Ooh, that's one of the better things we found. Tory Burch. Yeah. Um, this is a just a cabby jacket, and that's interesting. It's actually not for me to sell necessarily. It's for you know me to send in to thread up to get. I think it was it was either it's like somewhere in like ten to thirty uh, for me to get. For that, Cabby can be a good brand. Um, Looks like a Michael Jackson. Pick. Yeah, it does. Uh, <laughs> yeah. Um, Cabby has some like rare pieces that can go for a lot, but generally I don't pick it up. So I looked at that for thread up and it was a go. <laughs> so there you go. Oh, I didn't look this up. Did you look this up? No. This is what happens when you get even... such a large amount of things. Oh yeah, because this is, some of this is from the first trip um, yeah, and like we were in a hurry to like get out of the screaming kids zone and get some food in <laughs> us. So I do not know what this is. It's social collusion, um, 32 by 32. And uh, yeah, it's just this, this gray pair of jeans. I kind of want to look it up real quick just to see if it's anything. Yeah, listed for 19, so not anything exciting. <laughs> exciting. Okay, I see. One sold for like 22. So kind of in that 20 range, more or less. Uh, okay. Cool. <laughs> We're trying out the tag focus thing. Yeah, we got it. This is our new camera. This is the first Benz haul on this new camera, which should have better autofocus for when we hold the tags up and stuff. We're still <laughs> trying to figure it out and work out all the kinks. Yeah. Um, but Oh my gosh, yeah. yes. Mm -hmm. This is a wolf shirt. <laughs> and I didn't even look this up because it's just like such a big thing right now and I can probably get 20 maybe I can get more I don't know but it's just I think it's it's so, ironic it's well yeah the Gen Z community likes to wear stuff like that ironically I yeah think. I think it's so funny that that's the kind of stuff that's popular now because like when I was in middle school and high school you could just get made fun of for this oh for sure for wearing something like this 100 percent. so yeah basically everything that was stupid back in our day is now cool so yeah i, guess I have that's to like check goes. myself yeah yeah i have to check myself because i'm like oh like usually just my default thing is like oh this is out of style because it was in style like so long ago but now it's back in style we're so old mm -hmm. so <laughs> yeah this is an interesting Harley Davidson button down. Where the heck? It's not the Harley Davidson brand, but it says Harley Davidson, Davidson on it. What is the brand? Maybe. I oh, it's at Atlantic Connection, Paris, New York. Hide your face. Sorry. If you can see that logo. But yeah, this is like interesting Harley Davidson patterned button down shirt. It I don't know feels... anything about this. I just like picked it up when we were in a rush at the end. I bet you it's nothing. I don't see anything on it on eBay, but because it's like busy. Oh, it's, it's rayon. It's one hundred percent rayon, and it says dry clean only. But yeah, I don't know. I'm gonna list it. It's and... got metal buttons. Yeah, 
It's interesting. Yeah. Um, this is a Vince stripe long sleeve top. Um, you know, Vince, really high quality stuff, but I am guessing this is for thread up. Yeah. You got it. So probably what, 20? Uh, something. This is Michael Kors. It's not Michael Michael Kors. It's the actual Michael Kors. Mm. Um, for me to send in to thread up. I found this shirt and this shirt. This has some collar staining, which we can get out. Um, so my plan is to send these to thread up. Michael Kors doesn't do super well. I've never tried it out. I've just heard how horrible it is <laughs> to resell. <clears throat> this I just got because it was super cute. Um, it is American Eagle, size medium. It's a denim dress, like very wow. Y2K, like fully denim. Just really like cute and interesting. It has these ties. Um, so yeah, I will probably, I kind of want to try to list this myself and just like do the whole Y2K tag thing and maybe sell it on Depop or something. It is more of a like Do you sell on Depop? Spring. I've tried with one listing, uh -huh. but I kind of want to try like listing more of my stuff over there because mm -hmm. it seems like it's doing pretty well. Uh, so, yeah. I just thought that was so cute. I'm like, I'll, I'll make something off of that. This is a fun thing. This is a free people, <laughs> like crazy wooly knit top, which is just fun. Um, we'll probably consign this. There's this one consignment shop near us that loves free people, so mm -hmm. um, it'll probably sell well there. By the way, that other consignment store in Sherwood is opening um, in Do you know when? October, yes. October 12th, yes, yes. and they were they had a post, actually we had an ad that was targeted to us oh. on Instagram. I actually followed their page. Okay. Um, I don't remember what it said, but I think they're starting to accept women's fashion stuff, and they had a list of the brands that they accept and what they don't accept. Okay, fun. Yeah. I love experimenting with different consignment opportunities because when we go to the bins, like we like to focus on higher dollar flips. I mean, when you go to the bins, like it's not, it's not going to be that much, but you find some stuff. We found some stuff that we will share with you. That's amazing. Um, <laughs> so for a lot, it of... <laughs> looks like a cat. Gosh. <laughs> yeah. For a lot of items, um, well, yeah, I don't know. I just, I like experimenting with different consignment shops and opportunities because I'm lazy. And if they can sell it for me, like, that's great. So we're going to check it out. <laughs> oh, you probably want to talk about that. What is this? Oh, my goodness. Okay, so speaking of, if you watched a couple of Ben's hauls ago, we were talking about a... Uh, it needs a lint roll. Yeah, this needs a lint roll real bad. We were talking about military jackets. And we found another one. This is actually a navy coat. And it's military issue. Here is the tag. Hide your face. And uh, what's interesting about this is I'm pretty sure that this is from, it's post-World War II era. So like, like maybe late 40s and 50s, like Korean War era, um, based on the research that I've done on this. And it's really cool. The buttons have these anchors on them and everything. And um, our my brother-in-law, Alex, is in the Marines. And we sent this picture to my sister and him. And, and he was like, oh, yeah, that's a uh, the patches for, like, a petty officer. So that's kind of cool. It's a, like a, a smaller minor officer's jacket. And um, it's difficult to kind of... It's difficult to price these things, but I was seeing probably in the 50 range for this. Um, because it has the patch, I think it's worth a little bit more. Because the ones I was seeing didn't have a patch. But at any rate, it's pretty old and it's in really good condition, so that's cool. Someday we should look into maybe like figuring out if we can sell these things to an antique store or something. That would be nice. And what they would take for it. Yeah. If it's any better than trying to sell on eBay or something. Yeah. Yeah, yeah. that would be good. Yep. So, 1950s naval officer's jacket. Coat. It's wool. It's really heavy. It's pretty cool. Oh. All right. So, this is super cute. It's Oshkosh Bagosh, and it's a little, like, 
It's a little dress and I just think it's adorable. Whenever I find Oshkosh Bagosh, here I'll hide my face, we're experimenting with the tag <laughs> thing. Um, yeah, I pick it up for our future kids and I just because I think it's adorable. So if we end up having kids and we're like not into Oshkosh Bagosh or like they grow out of it, I can just sell all this stuff as a lot because I have so much. There's this and then there's another piece that you'll see in this haul later. <laughs> Okay, so this is this interesting Italian luxury brand shirt, and the brand is Z Zanone or Zan One. I don't know. Here's, Zanone. I here's guess. the the tag. Zanone and loved. Um, and it just feels really high quality, even though it's cotton. I don't. It's like I don't know how to explain what this feels like, but yeah, it's like a really like good cotton weave. And this brand, other stuff I was seeing um, so selling for a lot, like over a hundred. But just for a black t-shirt, it might be, you know, probably like 30. Yeah, I mean, I don't even know. Yeah. But I wanted to pick it up because it's so high quality. So even if we can sign to that, I feel like someone would appreciate it. Yeah. Um, I don't, it might be too big for you. I might try it. But yeah, you could try it. it feels it's really like, nice. That feels like it would chafe my nipples. Oh, yeah. <laughs> Maybe it would. This is a J. Crew 100% cashmere sweater, and it's very soft and blue and very blue. I like that. Yeah. Do you want to do that? Or do you want me to do that? Ryan found this. It's a Biachi bag, and I don't know if I'm saying that right. What's but up, look Biachi? At this. Gosh. <laughs> it's so like artful. It's like hand painted leather. And I saw a range of solds for this item. It was like, I mean, obviously you get the random like $15 ones where people just want to get rid of things. But I was seeing like 50, 70 range for this. Mm -hmm. So that is a great find. That's what I was seeing. Yeah. Biachi. B-I-A-C-C-I. Biachi. It's Italian. <laughs> You're being Biachi. Um, this was an interesting hat. It's a Nike hat, but, um, with a leather strap, but it's like a, it's like a wool Nike yeah. hat. And I think this is the Nike Cortez logo. And Tori actually found, and it's also, it's the Heritage, um, Heritage 86 style, I guess, hat. I didn't realize there were some holes. Oh, really? Yep. Dang it. Well, it's got holes in it. It's probably not worth what we thought it was worth. <laughs> 10 bucks. Yeah, it was gonna be 40. Yeah, but not with so, holes. No. Didn't see those until just now. Boom. And that is, that's really the plight of the bins. This is the first time I've ever found this brand. And it's not a very substantial piece, but it is from Aviator Nation. <laughs> you can see that. Uh, yeah. So I was like looking this up this morning and cause I just grabbed it. I'm like, I need to get this because I haven't found this brand. And I was so excited. It's such, it's a bolo brand for sure. Um, yeah, when I was looking up shorts, I was seeing a range, but I saw some shorts that were like selling for $75 wow. from this brand. Like this is just probably cost them like nothing to make. Um, but yeah, I was looking at comps for um, you know, it was like August solds, so that might change as we're going into fall, but still a very mm. good find. Okay, so this is a dark navy, almost purple. It's it is like a dark purple Lulu's dress. Lulu's. Uh, it's like a bridesmaid's dress or a like you know formal dance. Um, what were you seeing on comps for this? I think I was seeing like forty for this one. Nice. Are maybe gonna, more, maybe less. Are you going to sell it or are you going to consign it? I'll probably sell it. Okay. Yeah. Cool. 40 bucks. Lulu's dress. Yeah. Okay, this I found and I really haven't tried Chico's much. Uh, we find it a lot and I don't usually pick it up. But this is acrylic, wool, and mohair blend. And it is a pink sweater cardigan in their size two, which I believe equates to like two X. So I picked this up. I watch McThriftsy a lot and she talks about how quickly Chico's sells for her in that kind of $25 range on Poshmark. 
so and also how quickly cardigans sell for her so I wanted to try this out I don't see any flaws um, I feel like it'll be a good control experiment for me to see how Chico's does for me hmm yeah how does Chico's do for you <laughs> yeah all right we got two things left in this bag well three things technically you want to do that one yeah I'll do this this is an a cool hoodie that I found and it's small but it's by the brand COS, which is a high-end luxury brand. It's actually, weirdly, it's owned by the company that owns H&M, so it's their higher-end Really? Brand, yeah. What is this made out of? I think it's all wool, and honestly, it, it looks like it may have been washed. It says no wash. I know. So Maybe it wasn't washed, but like, it kind of, I'm not sure. It has the feel of wool that has been washed. Yeah, I guess. So. So maybe it's I don't shrunk. Know. I don't. I, it doesn't have a size tag on it. Oh, it's because a U.S. It's medium. medium. I mean, it's small. It. It might have been a medium once and it's shrunk. <laughs> I don't know if this is sustainable for us to do this. Okay, this is a J. Crew like leather cosmetic pouch. And it does have wear on it. There were some things in this haul, this first one especially, that we just like wanted to get out of there. So I might not have picked this up, but you know what? It is what it is. And then the last thing from the morning trip was this screwdriver. It's like taped it's, together. You know, it. I don't. I don't know. <laughs> I don't know if the tape is on there for a reason, or if, like if it's broken or something. But it's just like a ratcheting screwdriver. So like. And it works with drill bits, so, you know, you can, like, I don't know. It's just a tool. I don't know. What, what else am I supposed to say about that? It's <laughs> You're a like, ooh, it's this brand. It's a ratcheting screwdriver, and that's for me. <laughs> All right. I guess that that was pretty much our first bin strip of the day. We did a whole, whole thrifting day. Um, yeah, so that was our first trip. We went to that Goodwill that Ryan mentioned. And while we didn't find anything for us personally to resell, we found two pairs of shoes for us to send in to thread up. Hmm. So Paul Green is one of these brands. <laughs> <laughs> and they had these marked at uh, $9.99. So I planned to send these in to thread up. Um, I think I was seeing like a $30 payout so that I would, I would get 20 passively. Nice. For those, Paul Green is a brand that is sold at Nordstrom. It's very high quality. If you find the right style, it can do really well. I have one pair that hasn't sold quite yet. I think I marked it up too high. But yeah, it's a brand that a lot of thrift stores don't know about. And one thing to know about this brand is that its sizing is weird. So this is a size, it says three. You can't see that, but whatever. It's a size three but it actually equates to a different size. Like this might be, I don't know, six or seven. So if you look in the really small shoe sizes, oftentimes you'll find Paul Green because they're like, oh, it's a size three, that's weird. We'll just price this at a random shoe price. Like, I don't know. Is that called vanity price or vanity sizing? Not exactly. I think that this, in this case, it's like, from, is it from the UK or it's from a different country and I don't remember hmm. UK is not this but it's it's from a different country it's just European um, sizing yeah one of okay yeah it's a different country sizing um, yeah but the Chico sizing is vanity sizing because it says two on the tag but it is not a standard American size two it's just that's vanity sizing. Okay. So, yeah, fun lessons. <laughs> Wee. And then I also found this pair of Stuart Weitzman shoes. We've just been collecting Stuart Weitzman shoes to send to thread up <laughs> because the payout for these is 30 plus. It depends on the shoe. Wow. Um, so they had them marked at $12.99 and it was half off. So we got them for $6.99. Um, something. Yeah, like that. Most Goodwills know what they have and they price it accordingly, so. 
they probably checked comps on both of these or they just don't know about them or whatever um, and they don't sell super well on traditional resell websites but on thread up they do really well because they retailed for so much and there is a market for it mm. maybe just not as much on ebay and poshmark in certain styles so there you go okay so this is now our second full ikea bag of stuff mm -hmm. um yes do we want to start with that well we literally have to <laughs> so we got to start with this first thing which is we found a, a wedding dress another wedding dress but it's like way more dramatic, like three times more dramatic or whatever <laughs> from the first one that we found, which was just David Spridal. And this one is Allure Bridles. It's a size eight. Um, so I'm just gonna try, I'm gonna attempt to show this. Like it was just, it yeah. basically took up a whole bin. You'll have to like step back. Yeah. Basically took a whole bin up and I just like, found it and put it in my cart because it's like just too amazing <laughs> it's um, so big you can't even see like you will never be able to see to the see. grandeur yeah it does have this weird train at the bottom um yeah but it's it's just it's astounding it's just so much Ooh, material my goodness yeah so we found this or yeah, I found this and picked it up and I just looked at comps on eBay for this dress and I saw, or not this exact dress, but this brand of dress and I saw a $500 pre-owned sold, a $700 pre-owned sold. Um, so we are expecting good money from this. Mm -hmm. It does have some flaws. Um, you know, it was like, it's a long train, so it was dragged on the ground, it was in a bin, but overall it's in really good condition, other than the bottom, it's got just that bottom dirt. hem. So we'll clean it up the best that we can, and I plan to sell this myself because I think that eBay or Poshmark is going to be the best place for this to have its true potential. I can't <gasps> find that dirt now. Well, it's like on that hem. It's, it's not that big of a deal. It's like the bottom oh, part. There it is. You can't even. Can you even hardly see, that? see that? It's no. It's like inside the dress. It's. Oh. Yeah. Yeah, I don't know. <laughs> so. Yeah, this is like amazing and probably the most glorious thing that we've found at the bins. This was about to go to like a landfill, and that is so sad to me. <laughs> Yes. So we saved it. We saved it. We saved somebody's wedding dress selfishly so that we can get somebody hundreds of dollars. Big wedding dress. Big, big. Like I think that like that person. Fifteen pounds. That person that got married in that dress was probably a pretty big person too, like tall. Tall. Yeah. 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 So that was like the most dramatic thing that we found. <laughs> um, yeah. But we also found like some really good name brand stuff too in this second trip. Yes. So. So yeah. what should we do? Let's do this. For a Klondike bar. <laughs> is that what you were thinking? Yeah. <laughs> this is super soft. Um, this is like a kind of a shirt dress looking thing by this brand, Tempo Paris. And I grabbed it because it said Paris. Hide your face. Oh. Hide your wives. I just think of like the Phantom of the Opera. Keep your hand at the level of your eyes. Um, yeah, this... Did you look up comps on this? I, only, I did. I grabbed it because it was Paris, so I just figured it was worth something. It's Modal acrylic and spandex. I saw some sold for like 35 40 for like a shirt for this brand. Um, but I kind of want to try it for myself because it's so soft. It's made with like Modal, which I love. Modal. Modal. <laughs> cool. What is this? Oh, this is for my mom to try. So, mom, if you're watching and we haven't seen you yet, this is coming. Um, <laughs> <laughs> it is Maurice's brand, and it's just this, like, this cottagey top. I thought that my mom might want to try that. A little bit of a lacy fringe on the sleeves. Yeah. A little bit of a lacy fringe. Fringe dressing. Fringe. 
friends. This is another Oshkosh Bagosh little overall denim set. This is all twisted up. It's a little bit larger than a lot of Oshkosh. Yeah, this things is I find. this is for like a little bit older of a child, like maybe a two year old, I would assume. I think. You know, I don't know. It's probably on there. A one and a half to two. Year I don't old. know anything about kids sizes or kids, honestly. It's I know we four, want them sometimes. It's four, 4T size. Oh, so like four. And four-year-old year old toddler? Yeah. Okay. But yeah, that's It's fun. so fun to collect that. I just like, I get excited when I find it in a bin. I'm like, that's for me. That's for me. <laughs> oh my. This is another large item. And learning about thread up and like what works well there has really been fun for me because I find stuff and I'm like dang I always pass on this but is it worth it to anyone so it's London Fog wonderful there's the yard guys sad well well you know it's it's life right does it look brighter I don't know maybe it's fine all right, we took a quick little break to get some tea. I'm drinking a, a matcha tea. And I'm drinking a cat mom mug mm. mint tea. That oh, took yeah. a while. That's we kind of look, they look similar, these Yeah, mugs. mine's a little wider. Mine's a Dutch Bros coffee mug. But, yeah, she's drinking peppermint. I'm drinking a bit of matcha green. Oh, yeah, I got to try that. Hmm. It's like a sweet and spicy matcha, so it's got some like chai and stuff in it. Do you like put anything I didn't in that? Put anything in it. That's... That is too sweet for me. All right. Personally. Well, it's too sweet for her, but it's just right for me. <laughs> so, speaking of tea, what you got here to show us? Oh yeah. I did it. I grabbed a London Fog jacket. We've all seen them. If you've been to the bins <laughs> or to thrift, oh. There's the tag. <laughs> uh, yeah. So I did not get this to resell myself, but to send in a thread up, there's a lot of that. That's a common theme <laughs> of this video. Uh, yeah. So I think that I should get $20 passively from them to sell it for more than I could probably sell it for. Hey. But yeah, it's just 20 it's bucks. This, this thing. I got it home though, and I. I kind of am a little bit scared of this. So it says 44 regular, which means that it might be a men's. Yeah, and thread that's up, pretty big. Yeah. Thread up only set like sells women's. So I might have to find something else a little thing on to do with this. Uh oh. But yep. It's hey, like a game. You win some, you lose some. We just got a new subscriber on YouTube right now. Yeah. So thank, thank you, you uh, thrifting with Kimberly. If you're watching this, thanks for subscribing to the channel. Yeah. <laughs> right. Um, this is a pair of page jeans. It's the Skyline Street, which according to eBay is not a popular style or to Poshmark. So I will be sending these into ThreadUp and I probably will get 10 to 15 passively for these. So there you go. This was another really good find. It was like in the middle of a bin kind of like yeah and i like undid all of it it's this gown and it's from j crew and it's pure silk like the everything is silk the lining the outer part it is all silk and it's this beautiful like cream color looks like a creamsicle yeah i think it's like it could be a wedding dress or a bridesmaids maybe um but yeah it's just this beautiful silk gown I don't think I've ever seen a cream colored wedding dress before. Yeah. Like it's not even off white. Like it's kind of got an orangish tint to it. Yeah. Yeah. So. It's not like an it's ivory. Beautiful and luxurious. Yeah. Um, this is a fun pair of like, are these linen? I think they're wool. This is a fun pair of wool pants. This is uh, Hugo Boss. It's Boss by Hugo Boss. So that's the diffusion line, right? I think so. So I literally picked these up because I watched a Jack Valentine these video. These are literally Peter Pan pants. I mean, look. <laughs> you call everything Peter Pan pants. But I'm this serious. is what Peter Pan would wear. Kind of. Yeah. Or tights, maybe. 
He wears everything but tights. No, he wears <laughs> tights. I don't care. In the place. Anyway, so I picked this up because we just watched a Jack Valentine video where he picked up some wool pants that looked like this, or wool shorts, and I think that he's like selling them on Depop for and like tagging it as like academia, steampunk, and so I want to try that out too. They also might be vintage, I'm not sure. Anyways, that's a wool blend, Peter Pan pants. They're okay, fine. <laughs> never, I've never I'm seen I'm a him real wear that. boy. I'm and a that's real not boy. That's not even Peter Pan either. You don't know that's, what Peter Pan is. That's Pinocchio. We gotta school you. In Pinocchio. That. Speaking of green things, we found this. This is our best item of the day, probably. I mean, that wedding dress is like intense, but this, as far as like a brand, is the best brand you can find. For one of them. Yeah. It is Christian Dior. Oh <laughs> my. It is, honestly, like, it's... It's a Bilbo Baggins coat. It's really different, and uh, I don't know if I'm going to get as much for this as I got for, like... I found a vintage silk, um, like, night gown or, like, slip, and that sold really well on the real reel, and I got a good payout... Christian Dior is the one brand that I have found that selling to the real real is maybe more worth it than selling myself. I, yeah, I don't know if I want to sell this myself because I feel like this is kind of a hard sell. It's got shoulder, I mean, shoulder the pads suit? are in. Yeah, that's probably from the, like, what, late 80s? Yeah. Early 90s? Yeah. So I, like, I literally, I saw this this way in a bin where it's, you know, uncovered obviously the brand and I just was like for a millisecond I was like do I want to check that out and I was like yeah I do and I'm glad that I did that's Christian Dior uh -huh. so that is great we found some great brands Christian Dior that wedding dress Tory Burch Nation. oh and then we've got some more stuff too that we'll show yeah. you yeah so um, this is the next thing it's a gray dress with lacy fringe and it's a J Crew. It's very academia. Dress. Yeah. It's like wool. Yes. So that's that's that. That's that. Thirty? Probably. Cool. Thirty ish. Uh, oh, I found this <clears throat> pair of diesel jeans. I've never found diesel. Or maybe I have and I didn't pick it up. I don't know. But uh yeah. They do have some like kind of discoloration, but they just need to be cleaned. I think yeah. they just need to be washed. Give them a wash. But that I looked up those diesel jeans and and that particular cut, which is the the Thavar cut, the var, Thavar, Thavar, was worth a lot more than other diesel styles for some reason. But I was seeing like eighty. Dude, that's great. Yeah. I think I heard like, about diesel from Kaylee Elaine. I learned so much from YouTube, just binging it. This is Eileen Fisher. It's a pretty plain top, um, but I kind of want to try it for a must. The older I get, the more I know about Eileen Fisher, because I didn't know about this brand until I started reselling, but then also the more that I am attracted to like Eileen Fisher basics. So there you go. And the last piece from that bag is this Athleta top. And um, this is just a athletic workout top. It's cotton. It's a size small. Are you threading up this? Yeah, I think so. Well, I might try it for myself, but yeah. Are you threading, threading it up? Are you threading this up? Threading it up. I don't know what and that's worth. Probably a couple bucks <laughs> on thread up. Boom okay. ski. Bag two done. All right. Oh, time for bag three! Bag three! Okay. So this is a plastic dress bag also, just real quick, because, and we're going to put the dress inside of this. Yeah, I picked that up for that huge dress. Starting with this coat, because it's big old coat. This is a big suede coat, and it's actually Tommy Bahama. Anyways, though, it's a vintage Tommy Bahama leather coat. It's big. It is a size 4X. Oh. It also smells really good, like cologne. 
So <laughs> whoever was wearing this last was, was a, a baller. A baller. <laughs> it's got some like staining and stuff that I need to treat clean, but other than that, um, I was seeing good comps for this, like probably around a hundred. This is another pair, or another Eileen Fisher thing, and it is this really cool size 16 distressed corduroy pants. Wow. I just think they're so awesome. Those feel so interesting. That's yeah. Not, is that, that's not corduroy. Corduroy? Oh, then velvet. 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 Yeah. That's it. Um, here's something weird. I'm just going to guess right off the bat that this is free people. Yep. Because of how strange it looks. We found a lot of free people. But it's also like a cowled neck. Um, we the free top. It's probably, not, it's knitted. It's kind of waffly. Waffly. Waffle printy. What is Waffle this? Waffle knit. Uh, it's a medium. It's a fa 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 fa. <laughs> what is this? What is the style frame? <laughs> it's a hundred percent cotton, and it's just like a cowled sweater top cardigan. It's like this is like basically what Umbridge wears in Harry Potter Five. Him. You know, do you know what I'm talking about? I'll throw a picture up so you understand what I'm saying. So yeah, I don't know what that's worth. Are you threading that up too? I, I don't know. It's a free people, so I might even oh, take we're gonna it to that one consignment that. place. We're going to take it to that one place. What's wait, that? when did you say that the Sherwood consignment shop is opening up? It opens October 12th. October 12th. They might take free people as well. Yeah. They said, I think huh. they said they give you 45% of 45 profits, and then it goes up from there depending on how valuable it is. Oh. Yes. And I, it's closer to us. I think it's going to be similar to the mall one. Well, that's better than the mall one. The mall only gives you 40. Ah. 40 is pretty typical for like a good consignment you amount. Um, so, yeah. Cool. Consignment cool, store cool, cool. is opening. We got a lot of stuff. I mean,. <laughs> You know, by the time that's open, we'll probably have figured out what to do with all of this, but... Mm -hmm. Yeah, all right. Yeah. This one I know is free people, but the tag is, like, elusive, and I can't find it, so... There's we're a just thing gonna, right here. I don't even know where the, the top and the bottom... Is Aha. it... It's probably the same person that donated this. Probably. Free people, size medium. What's cool is that the free people we found... It's inside out, that's why. Hopefully it doesn't have stains on it. <laughs> The free people stuff that we found, I think it was like medium and large this time around, and we usually find like extra small and small. Yeah. So that's cool. Man, the larger sizes perform the well. The inside looks exactly the same as the outside. Yeah, it, that's why it's confusing. Yeah. Oh my goodness. Oh my goodness. What a mess. This is just gonna take a moment here. There's the tag. So it's another cowl neck. Umbridge thing. sweater. This if you know, this you know. is more umbrage than the other one, I think. <laughs> I have this specific picture in my mind of her, and you'll know exactly what I'm talking about when I show you it. Is it that, like, tweed jacket? Like pink. The pink tweed jacket? Yeah. Thing? Yes. <laughs> I might be wrong. This one is a billabong. <laughs> <laughs> I'm sorry. <laughs> If you're Australian watching this, forgive me. Um, <laughs> but yeah, it's a billabong dress. Oh, it's not a dress. It's wait, it's what a the, dress. What the deuce? Yeah, it's like it's, a, like, it's just got a big old slit. Yeah, it's just like a oh, it's, it's like a split legged dress. Legged. It's, it's like a splayed leg. <laughs> Double dress. Anyways, billabong. I don't know what this resells for. What do you think it resells for? I don't either. It was towards the end. I didn't check it. But I heard that Billabong dresses sell really well for McThrifty. That doesn't mean they're going to sell well for me. It's also more of a spring print than like autumn. Mm. So we're going to find out about it. Yep. It's longer. It's a longer dress, which Goodwill is nice. Goodwill only wanted $8 for this and somebody still didn't want it. So I don't know. <laughs> I don't know about this dress. I don't know. <laughs> we'll see if that does good. <laughs> don't copy us. I mean, some stuff. Starting out, like, we went through phases at the bins where we're like, we are checking things religiously, and it has to be over $35, or we're throwing it back. And 
I've, I like, have talked about this before, where, yeah, we, like, threw back this anthropology jumpsuit and, like, all this really cool stuff, and then, like, heard this group of girls just be like, oh my gosh, there's so much good stuff in this bin, <laughs> and it was kind of depressing, because we were, like, right there, still sorting through stuff, and we're like... Yeah. Yeah, I don't know. At the bins, we've become more lenient. Yeah. I know that, yeah, there's some people that will pick up anything that has any value, but... I still think we try to hit the like twenty five. Twenty, like it's turned into twenty. Twenty ASP. <laughs> yeah. For bins. Yeah. When we're at the thrift store, we're a lot more picky. Oh yeah. Yeah. And that's because yeah, we're just trying to get the best bang for our buck. Anyways, um, so all that said, that uh, that's why we don't like check every single thing. Um, because of the consignment option, mm -hmm. but also, um, also if we did check everything, we would be there forever. And for yeah. us, like the bins, we kind of consider it a, uh, like a fun thing. Yeah. Like kind of a date. Thing yeah. That we do. Yeah. It's us treasure hunting together while at the same time sourcing and working. <laughs> yeah. And so sorting through and like searching every single thing, um, that just takes up a lot of time because you find a lot of stuff. Yeah. So, I yeah. hate I hate the part where you're sorting. And Me checking too. Pops. The worst part though is that you can't really at at least at our bins, you can't really find a place that is clear of people, and designated for sorting. Yeah. Um, there used to be a spot. They were like, yeah, go to the front, of the store. Or the front of the room near near this one wall to do your sorting, but then they started putting all kinds of crap there and like shelves and stuff. So now it's like, yeah, it's just a free for all, I guess, where you're supposed to sort. Yeah, and so a lot of times we'll be sorting and there's like people that are coming up behind Ryan or, because I try to it's like fun. position myself behind the cart so it's like not as annoying. But people get all up in your grill and. Because there's just nowhere to sort, and so you have to take, like, a <laughs> random, like, bin. Corner or something. Corner, and, uh... It, always, it never fails. We'll always be, silly. like, sitting there with our cart, and she's, like, sourcing, and then I, like, hear something, and I'm, like... And someone's right behind what him. What the heck? They're, like... They're, like... Yeah. Trying to get around me and dig and stuff, and I'm, like, hello? I was telling like, him... Like, I am he, here. If you wanted to, like... <laughs> I'm just, like... <laughs> just a little... <laughs> if you wanted to, you could just, like, back it up. <laughs> Back it up, back it up. <laughs> okay, that was a very long tangent, but, you know, all that to say, I don't know all the specifics oh, of prices on this. That looks like vintage North Face. Yeah. So this I found, this is the, probably actually the last item that I threw in. This and another thing. Um, to get us over that weight. Ryan was in line and I was like, wait, I just, I want to search. And I found these, like, vintage North Face pants. They're, I think they're men's medium. And they are, like, hiking pants. Hmm. Hiking pants tend to do pretty good for us in certain brands. Well, Prana especially. I expect for those to sell... I mean, I will I look expect. it up, but I expect them to sell quickly, but not for, like, a crazy amount. Speaking of things that don't sell for a lot, mm -hmm. but sell really quickly, Knox Rose is a brand that's sold at Target, and it's very boho. Um, I've heard about this from Kaylee Lane. And yeah. normally, I don't pick items up that will New sell for, like, $15. This is probably going to be in that $15 range, to be honest, but it's probably going to sell lightning fast, and it's new with tags. Cool. So that's why I got that item. Boom. This is another thing that I think I'm going to thread up, question mark, either thread up or consign. It's Michael by Michael Kors, which is not a good brand to pick up. It's the Diffusion line. It's like sold at TJ Maxx and stuff. Mm -hmm. So that is the tag, if you can see that. Um, and it is a silk sleeveless blouse. So um, here's another cool luxury designer brand. This is a Dooney and Burke leather wallet bag holder thing, satchel. I don't even know what you call that. Oh, it's a wallet. Oh, it's just a big, it's just a big wallet. A big wallet. old honking wallet. Um, yeah, Dooney and Burke, that's, that's a luxury brand. It's got a little bit of fading, I think it's vintage Dooney and Burke. I think it is. Um, but yeah, it's... This is in pretty good condition. There's it might like be missing duck. the... It looks like there was a strap. Oh, yeah, huh. So that's fun. Yeah. Yeah, so maybe 50-ish for that. 
This is that severely needs to be severely sweater shade. Look yeah. at all those little doodly bops on there. Yep. So it's it's a project, but my plan for this because it is Kate Spade, New York, size fourteen. Oh. Um, okay. my plan. <laughs> really flat. Ah, 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 ah. <laughs> my plan for this is to send it into thread up i might do more research just to make sure but i mean it's like a short polyester dress i don't think it's gonna go for a lot on ebay or poshmark is that a um huh is that a kid's dress no that's really 14 small. oh is it that's a real small dress do you think it shrunk because i don't know if it shrunk all this pilling looks like it Probably shouldn't have been dried. Uh oh. So, anyways, another reason why I want to send this to thread oh, up because dear. I think they provide measurements. Anyways, I plan to get like 50 ish passively for this dress hmm. from thread up. That's why I picked it up in this condition. Well, we'll just sweater shave it and send it off and see what. And Sally's your uncle. Yeah. <laughs> Sally's your uncle. Yeah. This is probably the only Tommy Hilfiger thing we've ever picked up that I can remember. I think we did one dress one time. One jumper and it's still sitting. Yeah, has not sold. This is a Tommy Hilfiger like poncho. With it, and we picked it up because it's new with tags. This retailed for 130 bucks. And what's your plan with this? Are you threading this up too? Well, no, because it's not even worth it on thread up. Oh, so but, what are we picking up for? So I plan to take this to the, well, a consignment shop Oh. around here because it retailed for like $129. Tommy Hilfiger is designer. Um, so I, I'm just curious to see how they price it. Hmm. Um, I figured new with tags, Tommy Hilfiger for a consignment shop. For like about a dollar is a pretty safe bet, but not to resell. Like vintage Tommy Hilfiger can do okay, especially the like the overalls with the branding from like the 90s or 80s. But uh, anything else, just just don't pick up. Like it's great quality, so you can pick it up for your friends and family. But yeah, so this is a Southwick blazer. And I picked it up at the last minute because I remember we found, Ryan found this a while ago and looked it up and it was like really astounding. So we, we picked this brand up before, but it was like pretty flawed and it hasn't sold. So hopefully this one does better because it does not look as flawed. There is staining on the collar, um, but overall it doesn't look too bad. Yeah. Southwick. The other one still hasn't sold. No. We picked that up like a year ago. Yeah. So, Southwick, if you have the time, look into it. Maybe we shouldn't have picked this up, but we did. So, so this is one of the last things that I put in the cart, too, just to experiment with. It is a quilt with butterflies on it. Yes. And, yeah, I just wanted to see about it. Like, just honest experiment i've heard that quilts can do really well so yes who is it the fi fire the fire resellers yeah we were just yeah. like name dropping all these youtube channels they're into quilts yeah they'd be proud of us for picking this up mm -hmm. it was also like good condition <clears throat> excuse me all right we're down to the last few things here nitty gritty couple of shoes and some weird stuff i'll do this this was a pair of boots that i found in the bins which is rare that we find like shoes and boots that are in good enough condition. So it's this the brand Born, but it's not like the regular Born because usually those don't resell well. This was a different line that they had that are riding boots. And this is the Crown line by Born. So Crown by Born. And these were, they're dusty, but these looked like they were gonna resell for like 60. Cool. 60 to 80 they're full leather so I just need to dust those and clean them a little bit but I'll probably get 60 or 70 for those I'd guess nice yeah I also found these these are blondo like little heeled booties with the zip side and um, they're waterproof 
And Tori has a couple of pairs of Blondo boots, I think. Yeah, I love Blondo boots because yeah. they're leather and they are waterproof. So I'm happy about those mm -hmm. two things living in the Portland area. Uh, yeah, comps for this, it was like, it was looking pretty good. Um, I don't remember the style name, but I think it was like 40 to 60 on hmm. Poshmark. And these are also in really good condition for being at the bins. And the last thing is a quirky thing. So um, I'm just going to describe or explain why I picked these up. <laughs> I don't know if it is going to be like crazy worth it. So just, you know, don't, don't, don't go out judge. and like, <laughs> don't hunt these out um, is yeah. what I'm saying. So as we were about to leave very close towards the end, I found this pile of Beanie Babies. <laughs> Uh, there were a lot more than these, so I kind of just had a thought, because a while back I saw really, or I don't, okay, I had a thought to just check on eBay for highest sold, and I found these guys as being like really high sold or something, um, and so I just picked them up without doing much more research. On the way home, I was looking at some of them individually and they are like not that great so possibly what i was seeing because i sorted highest sold um of all time and they were like they were in the like thousands of dollars for these beanie babies and i think it might have been a scam or like a some weird drug thing or like there's cover like up? a I weird yeah there's a few things you find on eBay that are like suspicious. Yeah. And I, it's I don't know a lot about it, but it's I think I read that there's the, like a hack that people can do sometimes to make it seem like something sold for like really a lot of money, but it's not actually real. Yeah. So you be careful about when you see like a beanie <laughs> baby and it's like sold for twenty five thousand dollars. Like probably look into that closer. Yeah. That's probably not real. Yeah. So I understand that those numbers that I found are probably not, like, not real. But I just use that as an indicator to be like, okay, I'll pick these ones up and, like, invest a dollar just to, like, see about it. I don't know. So it is Hope, the Praying Bear. Um, what is this one? <laughs> this one is a tie-dye piece bear this one is like a is it nanook dog nanook the wolf dog yeah. there's beans falling out of that. oh out of this one yeah it Rip. must have a hole in it where anyway okay and then curly so what's interesting is that like these are all Beanie Babies. Well, maybe not the dog, but those three bears, like, my sister or I definitely owned. So I don't think they're super rare, even though those listings were, like, rare. But when I did further research, I didn't research all these yet, but I did find that, like, this one, the Peace one, sold for, like, $50 pretty consistently. Wow. So even I've got to look more into that because, again, I'm like, I don't really trust. Oh, its name is Peace. So, uh, some of the stuff we pick up is just for entertainment. <laughs> like, I don't know if these are really going to be worth it. But then I also picked this up because my sister is like, she has an obsession and a fear with like orcas. <laughs> and so I got her, I'm going to give her this. It's an orca beanie baby named Waves. Fun. <laughs> yep. <laughs> <laughs> All right, that is it for everything we got yesterday. Labor day, big day, laborious day, but it's gonna be profitable. Um, if you stuck around this far, thank you so much. Mm -hmm. It's probably a really long video. Um, yeah, we will be here next week with another video and we'll see you next time. Yeah, thanks. Bye. All right, bye. Hey, thanks again for checking out this video. If you learned something or enjoyed what you saw, please take a second to hit that like button. It really helps us out. And if you want more nifty thrifties in your life, why not subscribe to our channel and ring the bell icon to get notified when we make new videos just like this one. Thanks again for watching and we'll catch you on the next one.